Hi everyone, today we will try to design a simple rainfall measurement system using Tinkercad. The standard instrument which is used for the measurement of rainfall is rain gauge. Rain gauge is an instrument used to measure the precipitating rain in a given amount of time per unit area. It is used in determining the depth of the precipitation that occurs over a unit area and thus helps in measuring the rainfall amount. The instrument consists of a collection container which is a calibrated cylinder with a circular funnel of 203 mm diameter for collecting the rain. This is said to be the standard measurement of diameter. Rain gauges are broadly classified into non-recording type and recording type. In India, non-recording type of rain gauges are commonly used and Simon's rain gauge is the most preferred one. Coming to recording type of rain gauges, we have weighing type, tipping bucket type and floating type of rain gauges. Next, getting into the measurement of rainfall, we have different ways of measuring it. You can simply measure the height of the collected water in a vessel of uniform cross section or you can measure the volume of the collected water and then convert the value into rainfall using formulas or there are sophisticated rain gauges which has electronic devices in it that automatically records the rainfall. We preferably use the first type of measurement because it is easier and simpler. Here we just calculate the height at which the water is present in the rain gauge. Here we can simply use an ultrasonic sensor which can measure the height at which the water is present in the rain gauge which will give the rainfall measurement. To construct the circuit, log into Tinkercad as usual, then click circuits. Here click create new circuit. Here is the workspace. First we will try to give name for the circuit. Let us give smart rainfall measurement system. First we will bring the components needed to design the circuit into the workspace. Let us check Arduino board breadboard then ultrasonic sensor which helps to sense the depth at which the precipitated rain water is present in the rain gauge next LCD screen this helps to read and display the rainfall measurement from the ultrasonic sensor that is from the rain gauge now we'll get into the connections first we'll give the ground and power supply connections connect the ground to the negative put it in black connect this 5 volts to the positive put it in red we will rotate this ultrasonic sensor so that it will be easier for connection ground connection is given to ground and given black supply voltage VCC is connected to positive and given red then this echo pin and trigger pin are connected to any of these digital PWM pins so we connect this echo pin to D10 and give orange color Take this trigger pin and connect to pin number 9 and give orange color. Next we will come to the connections of the LCD screen. This is ground. We will connect this ground to ground and give black. Next this is power supply. We connect it to positive and give red. Next is contrast pin. This pin can be connected to negative and given black color. Next is register select. This register select can be connected to any of these digital pins. So the register select is connected to pin number 8. Then read write pin this can be connected to negative. Next is enable pin. This pin can also be connected to any of the digital pin. We will connect this enable pin to pin number 7 and put it in pink. Next we have the pins DB0 to DB7. We can connect any of these four pins to any of the digital PWM pins. The LCD will be enabled with pin 4 to 7. So we can connect pin number 4 to pin number 6. Next pin number 5 to pin number 5. Pin number 6 to pin number 4. Then pin number 7 to pin number 3. Next we have two LED pins. LED anode and LED cathode. LED cathode can be connected to ground and LED anode can be connected to positive through a resistor. If not the LCD will burn out. So we will take a resistor. Rotate it. So LED anode is connected through a resistor to the power supply. I hope all the connections are over. Check the connections once. Let's get into the coding part. So click code. First we will try to enable this LCD monitor. So here you can observe that there is no block enabled to access the LCD monitor in output. Let's check in input. In input also you don't have any block enabled to access the LCD monitor. 
so it clearly states that we can't use block for coding in this circuit so we need to write the codes for the circuit instead of using the blocks directly so before doing that we'll try to do something which will help us to make the coding simpler so we'll enable the ultrasonic sensor click here blocks so you can see here the trigger pin is connected to pin number 9 and the echo pin is connected to pin number 10 trigger pin is connected to pin number 9 and echo pin is connected to pin number 10 so here when we enable this block here you see the coding for the working of the ultrasonic sensor so we know that the sound signal from the trigger will be sent and it will be received back by the echo signal which will give you the sensor value of the ultrasonic distance sensor so that is enabled here with trigger pin first set to be low then set to be high and then set to be low here the trigger pin is set to be output and echo pin is set to be input this is how the ultrasonic sensor working is brought into codes so we'll copy this code you can also directly write the codes but for simplicity i'm just copying the codes from here click here click text you can click continue so you enter into the coding part here i paste the code which we copied there so in void setup we have nothing in void loop we have the ultrasonic sensor reading so we'll just copy this and put it here and we'll delete these things now we'll write the remaining code alone it is up to you to write the code on your own or copy it so first we'll try to include the library for lcd screen include liquid crystal dot h then we try to enable the lcd liquid crystal lcd so here we'll give the pin numbers connected to rs then the enable pin then the uh, db4 to 7 pins register select is connected to pin number 8 so first will be 8 give a comma then it will be enable pin is connected to pin number 7 7 then db4 5 6 7 these pins are connected to 3 4 5 6 3 4 5 6 6 7 then give semicolon see that there is space in between this commas next in void setup we try to enable this lcd screen so we give lcd dot begin 16 comma 2 so here we have two rows and we have 16 columns here that has been enabled here so it's just like serial begin which you give usually so lcd dot begin next inside the loop we can see that it is abruptly given to read the ultrasonic sensor we'll declare it with some name let us give it as rain so this rain should be declared so we try to declare it here so integer rain give us a minute next we need to read this rain value in the lcd monitor so for that first we'll try to set the cursor on the screen so we'll set it as 0 comma 0 here it will start in 0 comma 0 this is 0 and this is 1 and here you will have 16 places so first it starts from 0 comma 0 here we try to print lcd dot print in quotations you can give rainfall you can close the bracket and give semicolon so it will print rainfall next we set lcd dot set cursor open the brackets then you can give 0 comma 1 next row we try to print here lcd dot print here we try to print this value which we read on the ultrasonic sensor so we try to take input rain here so that's all the coding is over check for the coding once whether we have made any mistake or not here you can observe that in rain we have some floating values so it's better we change it into float it will not show error in this case but still it is better to bring it into float then see that uh, you put this l c everything in capital if not it will show error similarly when you see this set cursor you have to put this c in capital if not it will show error so check those things so i think 
the coding is correct we can proceed so we'll start simulating it click start simulation so we don't know what is the error here so we can observe that nothing gets printed here so there is some error we'll find out what is the error here lcd rs it is connected to 8th pin enable it is connected to 7th pin then db4 is connected to pin number 6 okay 4 5 6 7 is connected to 6 5 4 3 so we we have connected it in an alternative way so this is db4 this is db5 this is db6 which is connected to pin number 4 and db6 is connected to pin number 3 i think now it will work out correctly start the simulation yes so that's the error you have to enable this lcd properly so now you can observe that the ultrasonic sensor senses the precipitated rain in the rain gauge and it has been measured here the rainfall measurement is shown in the lcd screen if you want to bring this value here then you can change it in the code so get here so you can bring it to 0 through in 11th position so now start simulation see so you can set the cursor wherever you want to print it on the lcd monitor using set cursor so whatever the ultrasonic sensor reads from the rain gauge you can read it on the lcd monitor so this is how we can measure the rainfall using a rain gauge and monitor it on a lcd screen so this is how we can design a smart rainfall measurement system using ultrasonic sensor and lcd monitor thank you for watching this video if you find this video to be useful kindly subscribe it and share it with your friends to get immediately notified whenever i upload a video click on the bell icon thank you once again